Greetings from WPCS Neo and um, today we're going to be talking about the good old home plug kits, okay, specifically TP-Link. Um, what um, TP-Link problems have at the minute is, um, for whatever reason, when there is not a lot of data transfer between the home plugs, or even when there is, um, for that matter, um, you can be in the right in the middle of a game, kicking, kicking butt on Call of Duty, you know, whatever, whatever you play on, and then suddenly you'll drop connection through the home plug. No reason, it just drops off for like 30 seconds and comes back on. Quite a common problem with TP-Link, could be a problem with other um, home plugs depending on how the setup and work, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk you through how to set up your TP-Links correctly and also uh, if you're a PC user, um, also Apple user, but don't ask us about Apple commands for doing this, you'd have to Google it, okay? But I would imagine it must be possible. Um, but Apple never make anything technical very easily, so beware. Okay, so uh, TP Link. Um, I will leave uh, links in the description in regards to where to download the utility. But this is the utility you want, which is the TP Link um, utility for configuring home plugs. Okay, it basically logs into them, allows you to see them all on the network that are connected, and lets you tweak them up. Okay, tweak them, switch settings on and off, and stuff like that. So Hopefully you will down. So at the moment you want to pause if you are not if you haven't got the TP utility, pause and get the download now. Uh, get it from TP Links directly if you want. If you know specifically your model number for your TP Link home plugs, then what you want to do is cross reference just to make sure you get the right one. But it's a generalized utility, so I would imagine they all link to the same place anyway. Okay, so when you get that open, so we've opened TP Link up. Poof, just like that, there we go. Okay, so you've got a TP link. I've made a bigger screen for this. So if I hide this, for instance, here, that's where it would look normally. But I'm doing this just to make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, so what you should have is all like all your devices listed in here that you have connected to your home plug network. Um, again, like I say, um, we'll look through these first and we'll explain what you need to do for each PC that passes through these to the main router. Okay. So, ignore the first basic settings, not important, okay? This is quite important. If it's yellow, it's great, okay? That means you're getting more than 50 megabit um, continuous connection, which is a good quality connection at the end of the day. Anything below 50 is not really that great, so you will suffer. Um, so what you want to do is on each home plug, you want to go advanced, okay? Wireless home plugs will have another option to actually log into them because you can configure the Wi-Fi and signals and and what they're called and security and stuff there. But this is the one you want, the advanced one right in the middle in this case. Um, what you've got is quality service, which is a QoS. Um, that just determines what speed and how the network performs in regards to what is required of it. Um, generally as a golden rule, I would stick it on internet or online gaming, depending on your preferences. Online gaming, you get a little bit better latency through it. Um, uh, I don't think you get as much speed. It's only a couple of megabytes here or there, so it's not a lot to worry about. So I would just keep it on the internet, to be fair, unless you really want to have a couple of milliseconds edge on the next person, where I very much doubt it. Okay, definitely on those two. The other thing you want to go down to is this mode option down the bottom. Okay, and what you want to look in here is this power save mode. Definitely do not want it on, um, because what happens is. When you uh, are sitting around doing nothing, or the home plug's doing nothing, or it thinks it's doing nothing, it'll switch off. It'll literally power off and go to save mode, so it'll just blink away on the, in the wall. Um, and it's supposed to wake up when it gets a pulse from another home plug. When another home plug calls for it, it's supposed to wake up and reconnect. They don't always do that. Um, so as a golden rule, we always tend to switch this off in home plugs when we set them up, because it's just another... another um, cut off that we don't need involved in these things because they're, they're not the most reliable things to start with in certain circumstances most cases they are really good don't get us wrong i love home plugs they, they are a great answer when you haven't got the wi-fi signal to, to stretch or if you cannot lay a proper hard cable if you can hardwire everything hardwire it it just saves so much hassle okay the other option you want to switch off or it shouldn't be on anyway is the lower PLC to be DSL. Um, basically what that does is it lowers the, the communication rate to allow it to talk easier 
okay so it lowers the speed down so it communications can be more constant or more stable okay um, I have tried with this on with the problem of disconnections on the TP-Link and it made no difference um, so that didn't fix the problem I thought maybe I was getting interference on enabled that it made no difference other than lower my broadband speeds which I didn't want okay so yeah switch them off unless you're getting a severe interference where you're hitting red on your actual home plugs then you might want to enable that just to give you that little bit hopefully a little bit boost um, so other than that they should be grey okay so do that on each device uh, and uh, it'll restart each device in turn when you do that so you will lose connections on them okay once they are all sta stabilized then you can come out of this TV link so they should be all optimized if you put them all on the internet that will be the best all round broadband speed um, and latency is not too bad on them okay so when you come out of there what you want to do is the next thing you want to do if you're a good old PC user and you know how to do things with Windows keys and stuff you want to do Windows and R okay so that's the Windows key on the keyboard and R okay and that should give you an open command um, I'll have to take a guess at this because it's been a while since I've done it so what you want to type in is shell colon uh, startup I believe that's the one let's have a look right and I was right okay that was a good guess because off, off the top of my head because I forgot I was doing this today and I forgot to look it up um, so in so I'll do that again just so you can see it so windows key R which does a run command okay this is where normally you do like command prompts and stuff like that and, and backdoor stuff okay I'm not going to go into that that's another matter so that would be shell oops god live type wells colon and then start up all one word press enter and you'll get that screen that we've got here okay right that's all right so you're in here this is folder is empty this is my startup this is where everything starts up with the computer if they are third party applications you can get them to start up here and stuff like that you can put anything in here at startup you can this is where um, a lot of old school sort of uh, malware hijacks and, and trojans and stuff used to initialize they used to dump it in here first run infect your system then delete it from here because it was set up somewhere else to run the system okay but in this case what we're going to do is we're going to set up what's called a ping command and what the ping does is the ping will constantly call your router okay it'll go back and forth between you and the router every second okay and what that does is that ping keeps the tp links from dropping out at all they never drop out okay unless you get a tp link crash which can happen because it it's just software running two hardware devices it happens generally as a rule you should not get any dropouts when you do this ping command through the home plugs the, the downside with this method is you have to have that ping command running all the time uh, great if you have a little server sitting there doing nothing and they're, run, and they're passing information from the server through the home plugs to the router for example then you can set up the ping command on that server to run all the time and that will keep the line active so you don't have to add the ping to each device that's passing through okay obviously it's a lot easier to add the ping command to a desktop PC or a laptop and um, because of design to do that okay so um, if you haven't got that then it's another game that you have to play you can however you can get probably I would imagine there'll be some app for like Android or uh, from you know for Apple and stuff on the phone where you can set up a ping command to run with your phone all the time you know, just do the same job so there's probably an app out there I haven't looked but I guarantee that probably someone's thought of the same idea okay right so within this empty area you just want to do a right click okay that's a right click on the mouse okay and you want to do new and then you want to do a shortcut okay and what you'll get is you've got this nice window in the window all you want to type in is um, oh that's what you need to find out before you do this bit sorry I will we'll, we'll leave this shortcut open okay because you might want to keep that open to type your information what you want to do is you want to run a command prompt so we'll do the command the windows R again and type in CMD that's Charlie Mike Delta okay and press enter okay and we've got that now what you want to do is you just want to type in IP config okay and that should list your 
IP address. The main thing you're looking for is this bit here, your default gateway. This IP here is what you need. Now that is your router IP. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to come back. And you can either copy that. You can right click and copy that if you want. In here you want to type in ping. That's P I N G. Okay. Dot exe. Because it's an executable. Space. Very important. Otherwise it won't work. Then the default gateway IP. One nine two one six eight dot zero dot one in my case and then space and this is the crucial bit dash t okay what the dash t does is it constantly pings non-stop every second bang sends a, a ping command before you go oh god it's going to take a resource out of this ping command virtually uses nothing it uses nothing in the background because it's all hardware controlled okay so don't panic about it it's not going to chew anything up you can run thousands of ping commands and they will literally not do anything to your computer. Okay, um, that's that's one reason I like ping command. It's just a great little command. From there, you want to click on next. Okay, call it what you like. You don't have to call ping exe, but that's what it generate because that's what the command is. I'll just say finish anyway. So in here, now you have this ping exe. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to right click on that now and go to properties and this is another reason why I'm doing this and I'll show you why when you come down to here you've got loads of things ignore everything on here the main thing is run normal window this is what you're lo looking at you want to change that to min uh, minimized okay you want to change that to minimized and apply and okay okay <laughs> okay okay um, the reason why you want to do that is so when it starts with the computer it just sits in the taskbar it doesn't come up on the screen and scare the living daylights out of you every time you start a computer you'd be oh what the hell's that um, and that's that's what that does okay so we're going to emulate starting the computer because if i turn the computer on and off we're going to lose the video okay so um what it does is when you start the computer it'll execute this command like i'm doing now with two clicks but the computer would do it for me and what you see there is you wouldn't have seen it because it's underneath my description if I just turn oh, shall I just turn the description off just for the minute right so this bit here where is it oh there it is this bit here now you see this ping exe oh look nothing there so don't worry about that if I click on it it'll show you this okay and that's why that's what would normally start up if it was normal starting and that's why you hide it because you don't want this you don't want this on the screen every time you start the computer it's just annoying um, so that just sits there and that's as you can see there that is actually just pinging away at my router okay through the home plugs if i was using them but i'm, I'm actually hardwired to the router so that makes no difference that's why it's like one millisecond and stuff okay so that will just carry on run in the background and that will keep your home plugs active that's all you need Every device that goes through the home plugs, if possible, should have a ping command on it to run in the background just to keep the home plugs from switching themselves off. Because what will happen is home plugs, even though you are doing stuff through them, you can be playing a game, you could be streaming a video. Um, it, they have, it happens to the one downstairs. If I'm not using the ping command, I could be watching Netflix or app, uh, Amazon Prime or whatever, watching a, uh, a stream, you know, just disconnect because there's no uh, ping just running it but when the ping's running it never does it it never drops out and what that ping does it keeps the the communication level of the devices at their peak it doesn't let them slow down which is what they normally do they normally slow their communication down when they're not when they think they're not needed so if they're not doing much even when they are busy they still think oh i don't need it because there's nothing telling them to pop back up um, they're not intelligent, unfortunately, not very clever things, uh, and they just disconnect willy nilly, basically. So that's what the ping does. For some reason, the ping just says wake, wake the hell up and stay up, and that's what it does. It just keeps on. It's like a, it just imagine someone who's not enough to sleep every five minutes, and you're just coming in with the elbow. <laughs> that's what your ping command does. It, it elbows the the home plug adapters and says wake up. I'm finished with you. Uh, so that's it. And that's how you keep your home plugs from disconnecting. Um, Apple will have a different method. They will have a ping command probably in there. 
Uh, I haven't got a clue. I'd have to Google it because I don't touch Apple. You know, I'm anti I'm anti Apple. I hate Apple. Okay, and that's it. Uh, that's that's how you set up your your uh, system to keep your home plugs active. So enjoy. Any questions, please uh, hide them in the comments below, and I will be glad to answer any questions you've got. Uh, if it was too complicated, sorry, but that's computing for you. Until the next time, bye for now.